What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 43. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Tap Tempo in Logic Pro. Now, what Tap Tempo is, is basically, let's say you starting out a new song, and you got to input your new tempo over here. You don't really know exactly what tempo it is, so you keep fiddling around with the tempo. Well, that's where Tap Tempo comes in place. Basically, it allows you to tap your tempo, and Logic will remember that tempo and kind of apply to the whole settings in your song. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do Tap Tempo straight into Logic. Let's get to it. All right, so the first step we got to do is make sure we have a key command for our tap tempo command. So to, to set one up, we just go ahead and hit option K. And what you want to do here is go up to the search field and type in tap tempo. And right here under global commands is tap tempo. What I have mine set right now is the asterisk sign. So I hit the asterisk sign that will record my tempo information. But if you want to go ahead and change that or assign a new one, if you don't have it already assigned, go learn by key label, select it. Go by learn by key label and type in any key on your keyboard uh, that you want to apply for the tap tempo or you could actually use your MIDI controller and hit a button on your MIDI controller. It's up to you. I use my keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my asterisk sign again. And since I'm already using it, it's letting me know. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit replace and uncheck that and you can go ahead and close this window. Now we got our key command for our tap tempo set. Next step we got to do is make sure we have this sync button right here. If we don't have it, go in the gray area, control click, customize transport bar, and make sure you have sync checked. All right, so now that we got those two things set up, go to file, go to project settings, go to synchronization, and set the sync mode to manual. This will bring up your blue line right here, or you could hit it by hitting the solo button, sorry, the sync button right here, and go ahead and well, tap out your tempo to the song that you want. So I'm going to say it out loud as, as I tap out my asterisk sign on my keyboard. One, two, three, four, one. So as you can see right there, my tempo has changed. And obviously, it's not going to be exactly on a tempo. So you could go ahead, double click that and change it. If you want a little faster, you could go again. Make sure your sync button is on. Go ahead and tap out the tempo. One, two, three, four, one. So there's a little faster tempo right there. So you get the point of it. All you have to do is tap out your tempo. Now, if you don't like to tap out the tempo like that, you can go ahead and adjust it to how you like it. Control click on the sync button and go to open tempo interpreter. And over here, you can change how you basically input your tab steps and all that. I like the way it is default because most of my songs are in 4.4. So that's how I'm going to do it. So again, all you have to do is select your sync mode on when this blue thing is on you know you're in sync mode go to the key that you set to tap out your tempo one two three four one on the one after the four after the one bar on the one it will start playing out and your tempo will be recorded just remember before you start recording make sure you turn off sync mode off so uh, when you go ahead and record it's not going to listen to your tempo and it's just going to record at the tempo you set so make sure your sync mode is off before you start to record so the blue line is all gone from the top right here. So that's how you do tap tempo in Logic Pro. If you have any questions on that, you can ask me in the comment section. And uh, remember to subscribe and rate for uh, more great videos. And as usual, more great videos always coming soon, guys. Later. Talk to you soon. Thanks.